Hey guys, my name is Francisco Hernandez and today I'm reviewing this guy right here, the Flashpoint CB20 backpack. I've actually had mine for over two years now. I really do enjoy this backpack. So in today's video, I wanted to go over some of the features, not some, all the features that it has and tell you guys why I highly recommend it. But before I continue, I do want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Adorama. Adorama is an industry leading retailer that has been serving photography, videography, and audio customers for almost 50 years now. Their motto is everyone is a creator, so they do their best to unleash that creator within us all by providing us with the tools and expertise necessary to get the job done. I personally shop at Adorama for the great deals on different products that I both use and recommend, plus the great customer service on those different products as well. If you find yourself interested in this backpack or anything else that's gonna be in this video, definitely check out the description area below for links to those different products and be sure to use those links if you decide to order. The very first thing that I wanted to go over is the size of the CB20 backpack, which is actually going to be 14 by 18.9 by 9.3 inches. This is technically considered a little bit over the size of what most airlines consider to be your free personal item. But in my experience, I've never had any issues when flying with the CB20. I've never had any airlines tell me that I have to register it as a carry-on and pay for that. I've always been able to get it as my free personal item. And I actually just traveled with it recently when I attended the WP. PPI conference in Vegas. If I had actually paid for the CB20 to be a carry-on, then the cost to and from the WPPI conference would have been more than the bag itself, which is only $58. Whenever I personally travel, I rarely get a carry-on and instead get a check bag. And that check bag usually carries my clothing and maybe some other lighting related gear like a small softbox or a small stand. The CB20 backpack actually carries all my most important stuff like my lighting and my gear and anything that has lithium ion batteries because that actually has to be in either a carry-on or your personal item. So basically anything that's expensive, lithium ion or important goes in that CB20 backpack. The material the CB20 is made of is a nice smooth wear and water resistant nylon fabric and on the lower front is a reflective strip for high visibility. On the back, there's three areas of elevated padding to allow air to pass through so it's not too hot on your back and the shoulder straps are also padded so they're nice and comfortable too. On the shoulder straps are 2D hooks so you can attach any accessories you want there. The CB20 has a waist belt strap and also a chest belt strap that has an included emergency whistle in case you ever need that. On the top of the backpack is a nice sturdy rubber handle and there's also a pair of rubber supports on the bottom. Both sides of the backpack offer two mesh pockets and two straps. Those straps are going to be great for any mini stands, tripods, monopods, umbrellas, or anything else you might want to hang off of them. Now that I've covered the exterior of the CB20 backpack, let's actually take a look inside of it. To start, there is a small pouch right here that is accessible from a single zipper, and it's probably a good amount of space for a small tablet, maybe passports and your wallet, and maybe your phone. There's also this bigger section right here, which is accessible from two zippers. So let me go ahead and just open that. And inside here, you'll actually find a dedicated area for a laptop that can fit up to 15 inches. Immediately in front of that laptop section are gonna be two small pockets right here. One is a little bit bigger than the other. And immediately in front of that, you'll find a little bit of space here where you could probably put a power bank or your laptop charger or other small stuff like that. Actually, one thing about that pocket that I just went over right now, I believe if you really like your umbrella modifiers, I am pretty sure that you can actually fit up to 60 centimeter size umbrellas in that section if you want to. To get to the main area of the backpack, you have two zippers that go all along the sides of the backpack. And inside, you'll find a bunch of different pockets over here and you'll find different dividers as well. The dividers allow you to customize the backpack to however you want it to be. I personally have a A7R3, two lenses, two Explore 300 Pros, two Explore 100 Pros, some ND filters and transmitters in there. That's how I usually carry my bag, but of course you can customize it to however you want it to be. When it comes to the specific sizes of those dividers, there's gonna be one 12 inch divider that I'm just gonna leave right here. There's also gonna be two of these seven and three quarter inch pieces, two seven and a half inch pieces that are actually gonna be straight up until five inches and then that last two and a half inches has a little bit of a bend to it and finally the last divider is three and a quarter inch in length and all of these different dividers are going to be four inches in height 
When it comes to all these different pockets here, you'll find four Velcro lid pockets. Two of these big ones on the sides here are going to be five inch by three and a quarter inch wide pockets. These smaller ones in the middle are going to be two and a half inch tall by three and a quarter inch wide pockets. I usually put my business cards in this one, my SD cards in this one, and then my USB readers in here with my USB drives in that one. And finally, this last pocket is a see-through mesh material that's accessible through a single zipper. It's eight inches by 12 inches long. I usually put random cords in there, USB-A to USB-C, USB-A to micro USB, and other things like phone chargers. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the Flashpoint CB20 backpack. Like I said earlier, I've had it for years and I've been really enjoying it. Again, it's the perfect size in my opinion. It fits everything that I need for my own personal photo shoots. Those Explore 300 Pros, the Explore 100 Pros. You know what? If you guys are interested in seeing everything that's inside my backpack, I'll go ahead and throw a visual of that on the screen right now with labels of everything in the different compartments. Once again, huge thanks to Adorama for sponsoring this video. It seriously allows me to keep making free content for you guys and dedicate more time to my channel when they sponsor my videos so if you guys are interested in the backpack or anything else feel free to check out the links in the description area below take care guys and i'll see you in the very next video